Parasite. Parasite. Whoa. Wow. Parasite, yo. Welcome to YouTube's favorite K-pop show, show the King King News, Danny Kim. David. Today we have lots and lots of hot ass tea. First off, we have Parasite winning an Academy we Award. Actually don't know. We don't know. It's right now 10 a.m. in Korea. Right now the Oscars are happening. Fast uh, uh, three awards. Three? Three awards. Really? Director director award. And yeah. foreign movie award. Of uh, course. Foreign movie, uh, maybe not best film. Little did I know. You? Uh, I'm gonna say foreign movie award. Okay, yeah. foreign movie. Just one, one. Just one? Yeah, just that. Wow, racist. <laughs> Second, we have transgender student facing some backlash for going to a women's university in Korea. Last but not least, T.O.P. claims that he's not gonna come back in Korea ever! Never no. ever! Never ever! No. On to the first news! One hour later. Parasite! Parasite! Whoa! Wow. Parasite, yo! thousand impressions later so right now we've seen what has happened uh, i can't just believe what's happened honestly it's impossible it's impossible <laughs> parasite and bong juno in total have won four academy awards four oscars the best of the best included best picture best picture best like film wow the award the finale award of the oscars was given mm. to parasite it's just incredible unbelievable just mind blown but still we have to go on with the news so anyways that was the news four oscars which are best screenplay best director best international featured film best, best picture. picture wow, wow. God damn, no one expected wow. this <laughs> this is like this is like wow. this is gonna be remembered for like a wow. hundred years Korean what kind of year history. are we living in wow, wow. Korea is taking over. BTS, Parasite. Wanna, wow, Korea is taking over the entertainment sphere. I feel proud wow. to be Korean. Thank you, Bong Joon Ho, for existing. <laughs> right. Wow. So we just thought it would be uh, meaningful to watch some of his words, speeches. speeches on what he had to say. So let's just do a quick reaction. I'll right. give you an exception of not cutting your okay. balls because okay. this is a special moment, special in, Korean moment in Korean history. Okay. Oh, that's Keanu Reeves. Whoa, Bong Joon Ho. Thank you. Great honor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great honor. I can't believe it. Writing a script is always such a lonely process. We never write to represent our countries. Mm. But this is very first Oscar to South Korea. Oh, Bong Category Category has a new name now from best foreign language to best international feature film. I'm so happy to be its first recipient under the new name. I applaud and support the new direction that this change symbolizes. Third claim! It never ends! We're binge viewing a Korean movie getting three Oscars so far, and we have one left to go. I thought I was done for the day and was. I thought I was done for the day too. Yeah. Oh, he's about to cry. Thank you so much. When I was young and studying cinema, there was a saying that I carved deep into my heart, which is the most personal is the most creative. That quote was from our great Martin Scorsese. So. Oh. And he's there. Wow. That's insane. He met his idol. In front of his idol. And then wow. he's getting an award. Wow. wow! Standing ovation! Wow! He got recognition from Martin <laughs> Scorsese. Wow! He's a showman. Yeah, he knows, he knows, how, to how, to he knows, how, he knows how to talk. He knows how to speak. He knows how to speak. When I was in school, I studied Martin Scorsese's films. Just to be nominated was a huge honor. I never like, thought I would win. Canteen 형님이 계신데 oh. 정말 사랑합니다. Another yeah. reference. When people in the Tarantino. US were not familiar oh. with my film, Quentin always put my films on his list. He's here. Thank you so much. Wow. 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 He said Quentin 형님. Wow. 형. Quentin 형. Wait, he's 형? Yeah. <laughs> now he's the Korean 형. 
So the last clip we had to watch was actually done by a person we didn't know who she was. Currently the executive producer of uh, mm -hmm. Parasite. She funded the program. Mm -hmm. Over she's... like Pegok. Yeah, wow. over $10 million. Which is actually not, not, that, not, a, lot. not a big uh, amount. Yeah, for according to like Hollywood budgets. Right. But still, that's a lot of money. And to be honest, I didn't know about the tradition at all. But right. it says uh, the investor or the executive producer mm -hmm. is uh, traditionally supposed to do the speech mm -hmm. for the best film. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that. But I, I was wondering why. Yeah, Boom, I was like, Boom, why, why, is why is this lady? weird? Yeah. Coming up, but so she's apparently the uh, vice president of CJ, the yeah, CJ group. Well, congrats, CJ! Uh, you messed up, produce, but you got another gift uh, to Korean cultures. There's this very interesting comment here, uh, which is the most upvoted, and it says like. Oh, I wondered who she was, uh -huh. but the speech also shows the big picture of Parasite. That's being kind of sarcastic towards like, oh, the honor should actually go to Pong and all the actors yeah. and the staff. But, but this at the end, the capitalistic, you right, know, investor who the has corporate. the money takes all the honor and stuff like that. But, I, well, if that's the tradition in the realistic aspect, like without her, there wouldn't have been Parasite. Right, right. So I understand. She played a big part. Of course, yeah. of course. Like, Money is important yeah, in yeah. filmmaking. Yeah, of course. Uh, anyway, congratulations. Wow. Like, my question is, why is it Parasite mm. that struck with everybody in the world? Mm. I I have an idea. Let's just refer to the directors Hong referred to. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, Martin Scorsese. He's an amazing director. Mm -hmm. He directed... Uh, Taxi what Driver. Was it? Yeah, Taxi Driver, but this this time he directed The Irishman. Mm -hmm. And for Quentin, he directed Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. But those two films are amazing, but the difference is those two films have a very historical value and setting in America mm -hmm. only. When I first watched Irishman and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I could feel that the film was great because of the way he like produced it, how right, he like right. shot the f stuff and all, oh, but the thing that lacked for me was I didn't know the historical references. Right. I didn't know who he was talking. I didn't know all the moth bosses. I didn't know like Sharon Tate yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So I couldn't relate to it. But yeah. what I think Parasite is, it's not about like a real historical figure or anything great, but yeah. it's about everyone. Right. And it's about society as a whole. And it's about like social class, hierarchy, and wealth, and poor, blah, blah, right. blah. So everybody like who's struggling out there, everybody who's living in this capitalistic world, right. this evil world, right. and has to like struggle through their lives and can all relate to that. I think the universal aspect of that yeah. Parasite film was great. But what was greater was he made that un universal concept into something very personal, as he said, Korean. Yes. He made it very Korean. And there's a saying in Korea, what's the most Korean is the most global. I think that just worked. I agree. It's a very universal feeling and a universal concept. The gap between the rich and the poor is becoming bigger in most developed nations. And I, a lot of people can just relate to that. It's mm -hmm. a great film. I'm just surprised that this is the first Oscar that Bong Joon-ho has gotten because actually a lot of his older films mm. are very, very similarly produced and shot and you know scripted. But I do think Parasite is his biggest masterpiece. Mm. Next news, a transgender student faces backlash for going to a women's university. Oh no, what that is- That headline itself is controversial. On January 30th, news agency Newsys reported that a 22-year-old male to female transgender student had been accepted to Sungmyung Women's University and she had went through a gender reassignment surgery earlier last year and had her legal gender altered by the court mm. last October. So she's legally female. This news caused a lot of uproar from both Koreans in and out of the school. As you well know, understanding or even a discussion of anything LGBTQ uh, related in the public is very rare in Korea, especially regarding um, transgender people, I think. So to have a transgender woman be entered into a women's university, too many 
Korean seemed to like a little bit too much. This was the first case of a transgender student being admitted to a women's only university in Korea. The general public questioned why she had to go to a women's university and not a co-ed, and why she had to make a big deal about it by revealing it to the press, which I don't really know if she actually did all that stuff, which in all honesty seems like a stupid ass question to ask because hey, it's her right, right? right. There were some Sungmyung women's university students who were supportive of the transgender student, but many strongly opposed the college's decision to let her in and collectively demanded they revoke her admission and change its policy to exclude transgender students. Wow, that is intense. They stated that a woman's university should not accept a student who was a male just a year before. Some students in the university went as far as creating separate freshman chat rooms. They have these like little chat rooms. Once you get accepted to the school, they invite you to chat room. And the students there had to authenticate their ID, voice, and the size of their hands and their wrists to make sure that they were biologically female. This is disgusting, honestly. And on February 4th, there's a task force for this. The Anti-Transgender Admission at Sungmyung University Task Force, a radical feminist group from five women's universities in Seoul, started a petition against the court's decision to allow the transgender student to legally change her gender after reassignment surgery. Now, this is not a petition to have her out of the school or you know anything related to that. It's for her to be revoked of her legal status as a female. I mean, it was already going very far, but man, like that is just sick, yo. And guess what? This petition gathered 18,000 signatures from women in just a few days, showing how much backlash this event was gaining. Eventually on February 7th, the transgender student withdrew her admission because of the growing fears of the voices of opposition, as she stated in an interview with the press, and she will study for one more year, applying to other colleges next year. So she has to do Chesu. Actually, she's 22 already. So oh. she's like, that's probably like Samsu or Sasu for her. Oh. Some students from the university, Sungmyung Women's University, still managed to kick the victim while she was down, saying, you need to go to mental hospital. Not study, but go to mental hospital. They need to go to mental hospital. And to us, you are just an outsider, a Korean man. You are a scary presence to us. Honestly, there's not much to think about this. This is so toxic. I, it feels I, like I'm is, watching K-pop Twitter. Oh, This is like K-pop Twitter, oh. but in real life with real consequences. Oh no, just a real consequence. Like, oh. this is like cancer. Yeah, it's like cancer. I hope I, they I, die. No, no, no. <laughs> I hope you guys <laughs> I hope you guys get cancer. Okay, okay. In the first place, I don't know. You guys are horrible. If she's approved legally female, well, who are these students to disagree in her entering that women's university? She's totally going there through legal. Right. Legal. She took a test. Yeah. Just like everybody else yeah. did. The general public. Okay, let's let's get over with them. They're right, just right, like right, right. old boomers out there, you know, yeah, like yeah, that yeah, don't yeah. agree I don't to care LGBT. About that. Yeah, that that's just they're not gonna change their minds anyways. Right. But the people who are in the school, the Sungyung University students who are disagreeing to this, I don't understand them because their basic narrative is that they're afraid of a Korean man being in their campus, right? Yeah. And she's a woman, they're, they're, she's the same as you. And mentally, I, I feel as well she would be woman too, because if you go through that em enormous, you know, decision in life of mm -hmm. becoming, you know, right, another right. sex, then mentally, I would say you would have to be a female too. You're just like treating her as like an animal or a, I don't know, a predator or something. Like, and I just think in general, girls university, women only universities are a byproduct of the past, you know, like Honestly, in, in uh, these days, like who even, which country even has well, women only universities? Well, America does. Well, s <laughs> nobody, nobody would like to go there except like certain people. Nuns. <laughs> Let me just say what's really sickening is that um, a lot of these students, they stated that you know, a gender is a social construct 
And yeah, you know, exactly. I, I think it is a social construct in a lot of exactly. ways. Exactly. And then now, now when someone who does feel That's like exactly it is a social construct、saying. and they don't come. They don't. They're not like. They don't really identify themselves with the biological gender. Right. So they they try to change that exactly, and you know, go with the, what their mind is thinking. Then then like, now that's not okay. Now their like, actions are so double standard. Right. It's now, ironic. Now gender is a biological thing. I like. I, don't I mean,、understand. I bet all of them have like a I don't know a book of feminism like Judith Butler inside their backpacks and stuff, and、yeah. they're like, oh, gender is not biological things. How how you determine yourself? Blah 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 blah. And they promote that. And then a transgender being enters your school, and you're like, "Oh, she's a Korean man. She's gonna, you know, sexually, she, he, he's gonna sexually, you know, harass us or something. We're in severe danger. Like, how can you think like that? That's double standard to the end. And to be honest, I'm seriously furious because I've seen a lot of women's universities, and、uh, technically, they are allowed to accept. Exchange students who are males. Yeah, yeah, they do.、Have. And they do have male exchange students from other countries, and nobody gives a shit about that. And then well, suddenly, they're well, they're yeah, they're not <laughs> Korean men. They're like, hey, oh, stop mansplaining. <laughs> Stop mansplaining. Okay, I'll get canceled. I'll、yeah. get canceled. But、well. being like, you know, oh, this transgender being in our campus with like tens of thousands of other like women is going to be a huge threat to us. Like that is the most disgusting thing about this. Some of these students are treating her as a. Potential sexual predator. Like exactly. Which you guys like, always say you are the minority in society, and now you're you're、oh, making someone、oh. another minority within you guys. Challenge me if you want. Okay. Next news. Okay, I, maybe I think I get hard. <laughs> now, like I now I'm gonna be the this. Comments.、Uh-oh. Oh, on to the next, next news. news. Okay. T O P ditches Korea. Oh, oh no. I think we should ditch Korea too now.、Oh, yeah. Big Bang's T O P has stirred up Korea with his Instagram live recently,、yeah. and on the seventh, T O P suddenly went live on his Instagram account. Very drunk. He has been known to communicate with his fr- fans pretty often、mm-hmm. through comments or reposting their stories, but this is the first time he has went on a. Live stream and the setting of the live stream was done in a bar with his friends. It was very casual.、Right. And in the beginning of the live stream, Top kept silent. He was just staring at the screen and showed the bar table and stuff. But then he suddenly started reading the comments and interacted with the fans. He said that I just wanted to show myself like this because I think people might know how I am living my life. It's simply that I'm always sorry to my fans. Also, at one point, Top became very emotional and said, "I won't do a comeback in Korea." He just dropped that bomb. Just like casually. Yeah, I won't come do a comeback in Korea. I don't even want to do a comeback. He went on saying, "My friends are kicking me right now under the table like、oh. this because this is going to become an article again. Please don't make articles、oh. out of some meaningless shit I said." Oh well, that's、like、too that. late. Yeah. <laughs> also about his recent life, he said that he's just making music. He added that people are so evil. Please have some love. I agree. Where is the love? Right. Stop、mm. hating on transgender females、mm. entering your.、Uh, Okay, so as Top finished his live, as he expected, the entertainment news section of Naver became、right. listed with articles about him. Top, Top, Top. Most of them with negative tones.、Uh, this is from Exports News, which was the top ranked article,、okay. and the narrative of the article was basically like this. This kind of fully drunk live was enough to make the public cringe and frown. Top has been accused of using drugs during the police military service, and according to that, the court's verdict was ten months in prison, two years of probation. After that, he resumed his military service as a public service worker and got discharged last July. Thus, Top's image currently isn't good. In this situation, he confessed his true feelings that he will not have a comeback in Korea. Many are criticizing that it was a careless statement. Why is it a careless statement?、Mm. I, I say it's an honest statement.、Mm. Oh. And of course, the public didn't take this well. And here are a few top. Upvoted comments from the article.、Oh. VIP is gonna get triggered in this section.、Right. Wow! So all of this time he wasn't self-reflecting, but just justifying himself. His friend next to him even gave him a signal to stop by kicking him. Chet Top is just a crazy artist imposter who doesn't know how to control his feelings because he's wasted. I'm so embarrassed of myself from being a fan of you in the past. All you had to say was, "I'm sorry. I did something wrong." There's a saying in Korea: "A good word can pay a million dollar debt." I wish that was true. Even if you're mad, you should know how to distinguish what to say or not. The reason you're being bashed is because you don't know how to do. This. A lot of harsh comments out right, there.、Right. So the question is, I have two aspects. The first question is, what happens to Big Bang's comeback in the future? And the second is, does Top deserve the amount of criticism he's receiving right now? 
Well, I think nothing's gonna happen to Big Bang's comeback in the future. Um, this is just gonna be, you know, like one of those, oh, I was just drunk um, uh. moments. And I, I feel like Big Bang, honestly, um, at this point, no one expects any good behavior from them. I'm not saying like they're criminals or anything. It's just like people have let down all their expectations on Big Bang um, in terms of them being, you know, the typical idol figure, good role model type of people. This won't really have an effect on the people that actually like Big Bang and even the haters themselves. When Big Bang comes back, people are gonna be like, oh my God, it's Big Bang again and everybody's gonna be happy. So honestly, this has no effect at all on Big Bang's comeback in Korea. What I do think is that um, T.O.P. doesn't really want to do Big Bang anymore. And that's what it feels like. The Big Bang name has, you know, so many haters following them. Honestly, they're so established as their own individual artists in their own respective fields that I don't think they really need the group right. to continue. So if they don't resign with YG, then um, it's gonna be it. The end. Yeah, mm. so I think the contract's over this year. Mm. So um, after Coachella, we'll have to see what happens. Mm. I think T.O.P. made his mind up when he said right. that, even when he was drunk, like... That's his inside that, yeah, of Yeah, that's his talking. inside feelings. It's his true feelings, yeah. and he's just made his mind up. So I think he truly means that he's right. not gonna come back in Korea. Yeah, yeah. Because he singled out Korea, I right. think he does mean that he's gonna do tours in, I don't Japan. know, like Japan, Southeast Asia, somewhere somewhere America. there, and do go to Coachella. Yeah. But Definitely, he's not going to come back right. as Big Bang in right. Korea because he's probably done too. And the public is also done with, right, like, right. each side is done with each right, other. Right. The second question is, uh, does he deserve that amount of criticism he's receiving right now? Well, it is what it is. Mm. Um, it's Korea. <laughs> Welcome to Korea. Yeah. Uh, that's weed in Korea for you. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I just hate that they're calling him a junkie because mm. he's, like, weed is, like, legal in probably like but half that, the world but now. that logic doesn't apply so but like aside from the yeah, junkie yeah, factor yeah. what do you what? think about like in the aspect of his live stream like he, he oh, him being okay, drunk okay, okay. and him being like careless according to the articles and stuff if you really want to consider it from a pr perspective mm -hmm. it is careless mm -hmm. like don't do live drunk that that has never ended well Right. That has never ended right. well in human history. Mm -hmm. um, so don't do lives drunk. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he's T.O.P. man. He can do whatever the f he wants. Right. Yeah. He's he's not your typical like rookie idol. He's not even your typical idol. He's always had this image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was always being. I mean, look at the shit he's posting on Instagram. He's yeah. like onto some he weird ass shit. Not too weird. <laughs> he's eccentric. Oh, did you cough? <coughs> 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 I'm just saying he's eccentric, yo, okay? I'm just saying he's eccentric. In the first place, I think both sides have fought. The K-Nets always go overboard and they just go too far. They don't know when to stop yeah. until somebody kills themselves. Or and harms themselves. Yeah, harms themselves. Tully and stuff. I decide to make unfortunate decisions. I thought it would have become better. And from seeing those comments, no, not I don't helpful. think... No, nothing's better. No. Like, these people just don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, but at the same time, but at the same time, also on T.O.P.'s side, he can post whatever he wants right, to do. Right. And if he's cool about the backlash, and he, he has that attitude of like, bark as loud as you can, uh -huh. haters. Like, haters gonna hate because yeah, I don't yeah. give a shit. Then it's all good, but uh -huh. him stating that he doesn't want these articles being written about and like uh, saying that people are evil, I think that's kind of short-sighted and, you know, selective. Whoa. because Because like, yeah. you know, you're T.O.P. You're saying on a live stream that I'm not going to do a comeback in Korea. Well, that is going to be <laughs> articleized for right, sure. Right, right. Like, I, that is, that is like major big bombs dropping to fans right, in Korea. Right, right. Tons of other B VIPs in Korea. And honestly, he must have shattered their hearts a lot. That's true. He must have shattered the Korean VIPs' oh, hearts a lot. But I'm sure his heart is shattered too. Of course, so. of course. Yeah. So I think maybe he should have been a little bit more respectful towards Korean fans because mm. like his foundation was Korea after all. And it would have been better if he like explained a little more thoroughly if he was gonna drop that bomb. Yeah. You know, like I'm not gonna do a comeback in Korea because it kind of has the connotation of like, uh, I don't care about Korean fans anymore. But I'm sure he excluded the Korean fans from that Korea part. Uh, but like, and he was talking about the general public being toxic yeah. towards him. I'm sure he meant yeah. that, but as you could see in the comments, some, some Korean fans were disappointed, were disappointed yeah. because it was kind of like ambiguous in the way he presented it. So maybe if he was a little bit more respectful towards Korea as a whole. I kind of know what he's going through, so. 
I'm gonna respect. Him. Yeah. Uh, so that's it for DK News today. Mm. Hope you get well soon, T.O.P. And go to patreon.com slash DKDKTV for exclusive reactions, exclusive live podcasts, streams, live streams. Whatever, Discord chats. Yeah, we we're sending out free stuff, mm -hmm. our drawings, mm -hmm. if that's worth anything. And yeah, subscribe to us. We have lots and lots of more videos on K-pop, digging deeper into the Korean wave. And we'll see you guys next, next time. Bye-bye.